Hey guys, so in this video I'm talking about tuples in Python and I'm going to sort of try to explain the difference between a tuple and a list because they they seem on the face of it to be very very similar things but I'll actually try to explain you know what the difference is between them because I have already covered lists so if you're not sure what a list is you can feel free to go and watch the video that I did on lists but in this one I'm going to show you what a tuple looks like and where you might want to use it you know instead of a list because the two can often be used in the same situation and I, hopefully by the end of this video you'll be able to pick the best one to use in a given situation so let's go ahead and jump straight into Python and let's uh, create a new file and I'll just save this file, I'll call it uh, tuples so I'm actually going to start by defining a uh, list I'll just call this list uh, let's use numbers and so if you remember the list is square brackets so that's a list of numbers and I'm also going to write a tuple just so that I can show you the syntactic difference between the two and let's just use uh, square numbers for an example and I'm going to say 1 for uh, 16 Okay, so the only difference here in terms of the syntax is square brackets versus uh, parentheses. So let's go ahead and uh, we could iterate over both of them if we wanted to. We can also use the same length function uh, on both of them if we want to. One of the differences sort of comes when you try to change a tuple like you do with a list. So I'm going to try to illustrate this by using the dir function. It's going to show me all the methods that I have available to a list. So I'm going to, I'm actually going to print this. Uh, oh, not length, uh, print. So I'm going to print uh, numbers and I'm also going to print the same for the tuple. So I called that squares. And I'm going to run that. And now we can see, so this is all the methods from the uh, list and this is all the methods from the tuple. So hopefully this isn't too overwhelming but you can basically ignore all these ones with the double underscores uh, because all of them are sort of default Python methods, you don't really need to worry about them. The ones that we're interested in are the ones after that. So for the list it's all of these and for the tuple it's only only these two, it's only count and index and the reason why I'm bringing this up is because all, all the same functionality that you can do with a list uh, you can do with a tuple as long as you don't change any of the data so that's the key difference between a list and a tuple is that with a tuple you can't change any of the data after it's been defined or it's what's called immutable so you, you aren't allowed to change it and you, you can see a lot of these methods here are to do with changing the, the data so if you don't know what a lot of these methods do that's, that's fine but basically what a lot of them do that are missing is it changes the data in the list in some form so reverse is an example it'll just reverse the uh, data in the array in, in the list sorry and it'll, it'll change it effectively and you can't do that with a tuple and the reason you even have a tuple in the first place is because Python can do a lot of speed optimizations and lots of very clever stuff uh, to be able to in fact make your code much faster if you use tuples you know when you don't need to change the data in that data structure after it's been defined so really that's the primary use case of a tuple over a list is where you want that extra speed and basically if you don't need the functionality of a list then it's always going to be best to use a tuple because you you are going to want that speed advantage so one other thing I'm going to show you is what's called unpacking so let's uh, just do an example and I'm going to have a few variables here let's say a, b, c now you haven't really seen this sort of uh, syntax before unless you've seen some other videos which I haven't done but 
what we can do is use a tuple and say one, two, three, and it's going to automatically put one into A and two into B and three into C. So uh, I'm just going to prove that by saying print A, B, C. And so we get one, two, three, so that's printed out the three variables. Uh, with those values assigned to them. So that's a really good way of assigning multiple variables because if you didn't write it like this then you'd have to say well a equals 1 and b equals 2 etc. So it's a, it's a much uh, shorter way of eff effectively doing the same thing. So that's a really good notation to use. Uh, you can also do that with a Python list. Just get rid of that line there, save and run that. And so you can still see one, two, three. So that works as well. So unpacking, or what's called variable unpacking, is a really good way of uh, you know assigning multiple variables at the same time to a particular data structure, as long as you know the particular length of that data structure. Because what you can't do is have uh, another variable uh, here, for example, uh, that's not going to work. See, so you get an error. It says not enough values to unpack because it expected four, but it only got three here. And the same works the other way around. If you had two, uh, you aren't able to say uh, say that either because it just doesn't work in Python. You have to have equal variables uh, to the elements in the data structure. Uh, otherwise, it's not going to be able to unpack them effectively. So. That's a really key thing, uh, just something to bear in mind. I just want to point out one more thing to do with tuples in Python, and it's basically where you assign a tuple to uh, variables. So let's go and illustrate this by saying a equals, I'm going to make this a tuple, and I'm going to say a equals 1. I'll say b equals 1, 2. And I'll say C equals uh, 1, 2, 3. So we've got three variables here, and what you'd expect when we print it is that each of these would just be a tuple. So let's go ahead and run it and see what happens. But you can see something slightly strange happens here because B is still a tuple, it's got 1, 2, and C is also a tuple, it's got 1, 2, 3, with those parentheses sort of encompassing that. But when you've got a tuple of just one element, it is actually not a tuple. And what Python is doing is actually very clever here. You know when I was saying earlier about variable unpacking, and if you said one, two, three, and you have variables on the other side as well, uh, let's use different variables, uh, x, y, z, then it would unpack that, and it's saying x would be a string of 1, y would be a string of 2, and z would be a string of 3. But when we've just got 1 in a tuple, it's still trying to unpack that, it's saying put 1 into a. So if you still want it to be a tuple, you have to state that explicitly, and the way that we do that is through a comma on the end of the first element in that tuple. So if we run that, now we see they're all tuples. So that's it for this video, but in the next one we're going to be talking about using Python modules.